One of the things we want to do, there's two more things we want to do, and then we're going to blow it out with an hour of the craziest worship leading into New Year's. But the Lord has been speaking to me since I was in high school. And any of you guys ever see like weird numbers repeatedly? You know, if God can use a donkey to speak, he can use numbers, he can use whatever. I keep seeing the numbers 222. I've seen them forever. And and I've been praying to the Lord for years. What what does this mean? You know, what does this 222 thing mean? And then somebody prayed over me when I got my first guitar in high school. I wasn't ever supposed to be a worship leader. I never wanted to be a worship leader. I never wanted to do records. I wasn't ever really good. My parents weren't musical. I didn't grow up like that, but when I got my first guitar, I got a word over my life, and it came out of Isaiah 22, 22. And it says this, I will place on his shoulder the key to the house of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. Now, I believe this is referring to Jesus, but I also believe it's referring to what happens when we worship, when the presence of God comes. Keys, open things that can't be shut. He's got tattoos of two, two, twos. There it is. <laughs> that's hardcore. Maybe that's what I need to do this year. <laughs> that's next level. Come on. So, so two, two, two. And, and the thing is, it says keys. And I believe tonight the Lord is releasing keys. And the keys are this. It's worship. 2022 is a year of worship. He's raising up worship leaders to take the sound into their city. He's raising up worshipers across America. And don't you guys see what the whole plan of the enemy is about? And I'm not saying the virus isn't real. Don't throw me into that group, right? But the whole thing about cover your mouth, be isolated, be alone, be in your room, worship online, this whole thing. The enemy has an agenda. He wants to silence the voice of the worshiper. You guys with me? That's why when we do like what we did last night in Miami and we let the worship loose on the streets of our city, we see people get saved. We see people get healed. We see people get delivered. Last night we were marching and there was a former transvestite with me that was marching and worshiping that God set free in worship. Nothing is too hard for God. So tonight is a night where I believe in 2022 we're going to 12 or 13 cities and God is releasing keys. And I'm telling you, the enemy overplayed his hand. He tried to shut the church up. He tried to get us to not gather and he didn't realize we were going to take the streets of America. He didn't realize. And listen, maybe that's what it took. I don't believe God authored the virus, but he can use the situation for good. How many believe that? The church is waking up. Turn to someone and say, are you waking up? We're not woke, but we're awake. <laughs> Tweet that. No, just don't. <laughs> Here's the thing. Tonight, keys are going to be released anointing is going to be released and so we want to do a prophetic thing if you're here and you wanted to be a worship leader you know you've had a call in your life to be a worship leader i want you to raise your hand keep those hands up high okay if you right. know you have a call to keep be a worship high. leader on your life we've never done this peter, before keep it up high. so give us some right grace. here right here go to pc hey, everybody wave at peter you see peter right here go to peter let us worship hat on right there go to peter right here bro go to peter all right no 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 if i called you i gotta point you out all right yes ma'am right there yes with i want you to go to peter right here i want you to go to peter my man with the hat on i want you to go to peter right here go to peter okay right here right here right here you how many is that peter count them out we're just gonna do a prophetic act Hey, you got you can't forget these guys. I got them. I'm gonna do half okay. and half. All right. How many is that, Peter? Y'all are so sweet. 
That's 10. I got 10. See, I did right, brother. I got 10 on this side, okay? I want right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Little girl right here, seven. Little man right there with the, the polo hat on. Yeah, you right there. Eight. The buddy behind you would make America great again. Nine. <laughs> nine. Okay, that's nine. I want all of you guys to come around and meet my friend Peter over here. Come around. If I called you out, I, there's nine people. I'm going to count them as you come. You got to walk around. Walk around this little thing. All right, right so here. we're going to do something tonight as these guys come up here. Just nine of you. This just is make, so cool. Make sure it's nine, Marlon. I've always wanted to do this. I feel like Quickly. Oprah, but better. <laughs> All right, let me count you off. Did, did I count you? Is that just your daughter? Okay, yeah. Can she come okay? You can stay there. Is that okay? One, come on. Two, come on. Three, come on. Four. Are you guys ready? Five. All okay. right, so. Come on, come on, quickly. That's ten. So what we want to do as a sign and a wonder, because here's the thing. We can do these big events, and we're going to do them across America, but I don't believe that that's just what we're called to do. Anybody can go to a big event. There's a lot of them, and they're amazing, and I think they're incredible. I want to see worship go viral. This is not about how many we can gather. This is about how many we can commission. And tonight, if we commission worshipers across Miami and worshipers that are going to take the sound to their city and their neighborhoods and the streets, we could change America. Come on, y'all got to be with me. We could change America. Can you imagine kids walking around with guitars in Seattle, kids in Portland, kids in Chicago, kids in New York City, cities of desolation, and they're walking around strumming the song of the Lord like David, slaying the giants. We want to speak over these 20 that are up here. These are giant killers. Come on, get up here. Y'all are a good looking group. Come on, get them up here. All right, hurry. We got to worship. So this is what we're doing tonight. We bought 20 of these guitars. They're black. They're cool. These guitars are amazing. I play a black guitar. There's something about it. It's got fire on it. We're going to give every single one of these per people a guitar as a prophetic sign. Come on, lift up a shout. Come on, this is a moment. In America, we need to get people off their screens and on guitars singing the song of the Lord. All right, I want y'all to open your guitar, open it up. I know, I know, but as you're, as you're giving them out, we're going to open them up. This is a prophetic thing because we're going to do this across America and we're starting tonight in Miami. I told y'all I feel like Oprah. You get a guitar. You get a guitar. All right, open it up. Come on, open up your sword. Open up your weapon to slay the giants. Come on, open it up. Open it up. Come on, open it up tonight. Open it up. We're sowing worship. Take all that stuff off. We're sowing worship. Not only do they get a guitar and a case and strings, but they get free online lessons. And listen, just so y'all know, my songs are not that hard to play. I'm not that good. So y'all can play my songs. It'll be fine, all right? <laughs> is it, this is going to be a powerful moment, guys. I got a couple tears over here. I need some more tears. Come on. <laughs> all right, whose who's is this one that I'm holding? Oh. What's up, girl? All right, listen. Look at me. All you guys up here, look at me. This is a sword, man. This is a sword. We're not here. We're not raising up nice, cute worshipers. That's not what we need in 2022. We don't need people that just sing other people's songs and just try to be pretty. We need warriors. 
We need warriors that sing the song of the Lord over your city, over your family. Come on, girl. You're going to slay some giants. Come on, girl. You're going to slay some giants. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on, bro. All right. I want y'all to lift up your sword. Lift it up. Lift it up high. Take it out of the case, bro. We got to get some, we got to get it all. We got to get some sweat on it. Take it out of the case. All right. I'm going to have my good friend Kim come down here with me and we're just going to pray. I want all of you guys to extend your hand. Listen, I'm telling you, God is releasing keys on a generation. The enemy has come in with depression, anxiety, He's used TikTok. He's used all this perversion to try to mess us up. But this is the season where the sword is coming out. The song of the Lord is being raised up. And there's going to be a generation of worshipers that take the sound of the Lord across America. So extend your hand to them. Come on, right now, everybody. We pray right now for every single David on the stage. We pray that the songs that they sing and the songs that they write and the secret times that they have will be full of the Holy Spirit. We pray, God, that you will use the simplicity of their heart to slay Goliaths across America. I see some pictures of some of y'all just getting on a one-way ticket to a city, carrying your guitar, playing in the subway, breaking off depression off people, freeing people from suicide. I see some of you guys walking onto a bridge where people commit suicide and just the song of the Lord from your heart is going to stop that spirit on their life. We pray a breakthrough anointing. Come on, all these musicians back here lay, or, or extending their hands. We pray a breakthrough anointing on them in Jesus' name. The key of David. The key of David. The key of David. Yeah, God, we just pray for courage. Courage, just incredible courage, God, to just run hard after you, God. We just declare over every single one of them that their heart, their worship, their gift, their talent would be given completely 100% to you, Jesus. That tonight would be a night that you would mark their lives. Let their ears be open to hear the songs of heaven, the lyrics of heaven, that there'd be downloads of creativity even as they sleep at night, dreams and visions, God. We just speak that over them and release an impartation of worship right now and God I thank you that this moment is not limited to this group on this stage but this moment is available and accessible to every worshiper standing in this place tonight God that we just release that impartation that breakthrough anointing right now that you would truly raise up the worshipers who have an undivided heart who are given completely to you and you alone God that they bow to the name of Jesus to you and you alone Jesus release more songs more creativity more lyrics and greater anointing in Jesus name so on the count of three we're gonna lift up a shout come on lift them up one more time on the count of three we're gonna lift up a crazy battle cry shout and listen look at me don't let anyone tell y'all you can't do it I've had labels I've had people tell me I don't have what it takes I don't have a good enough voice. I don't have enough skill. I'm telling you, all of you have heart. That's all God's looking for is heart. So come on, lift it up on the count of three. We're going to lift up a shout. We're going to shout over them. You guys are going to shout. One, two, three. Yeah.